Welcome to SF Jobs Lab. We bring you all possible solution of interview question, including most efficient one. And today we will see how to find a median of two sorted arrays of size M and N. So let's understand this question with an example. So let's assume if we have these arrays where we have element value 6, 9, 15, and 39 in array A, and we have 2, 10, 31, 65, 69 in array B. And these arrays are already sorted. So in this case, our median would be 15. And if we have these arrays as an input, then in this case, our median would be 6.5. So I guess question is uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, so if you have understood this very well, um, so you can pause this video for a while and you can solve the problem with yourself first, or else let's continue for the solution. Before we go to the solution, I want to tell you that we are going to cover this problem in two different parts. In this part, uh, we are going to see all possible solution. Uh, so it is my request you to all, if you wanted to uh, see the most efficient solution of this problem, then please do watch this video till the end. And in the second part, we will see how to code in the interview for this problem. As we have to find a median, then it is very important for us to understand what is a median first and what are the key properties we have to keep in mind while looking for the median. So let's see that first. So let's assume if we have some sequence number like this and we have to find out what is the median of this sequence. The first thing first we have to do is we need to sort this sequence first. And then after sorting, if our sequence size is odd, then our median will be the element which is placed at n plus one by tooth element. So in our example, you can see that uh, the size of the sequence is 9. So basically, the fifth element will be our median. So fifth element is this, 10. But if the sequence size is even, then in that case, median will be the average of n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 element. Okay. So for even case, uh, let's assume if we have uh, one more element here, 11, then after sorting our sequence will arrange in this increasing order where the fifth and sixth element we have to take the average of the fifth and sixth element which is 10 and 11 which will come as in 10.5 so in this case our median will be 10.5 and if you observe very closely then what this median does is the median will divide the sequence in two equal halves so if you see in this case you will have a left Subsequence where the size is 4 and you will have a right subsequence in this also you will have 4 element right the same case when we have the Even size sequence. So in this case also if you see that the median has divided our sequence in two equal halves where the left side you will have five elements and in the right side also you will have five elements one small correction here this is 56 anyways and just because of this sequence is in increasing order so this is pretty much obvious that uh, the element value which is there in the right subsequence those values will be uh, always greater than uh, the element value which is there in the left subsequence right so finally we can summarize uh, our discussion into these three points so if we have to find a median then the first point is we need to sort the sequence first and then based on the sequence size we have to get the middle element of the sequence and the median will divide our sequence into two equal halves so remember these three points now let's get back to the question now we will take these inputs in our further discussion and let's start with the basic approach first and then we will see how we can uh, get the median value as in 15 here okay so in basic approach, what we can think of that uh, we can create new array, let's name it C, in which we'll add all the element of A and B one by one. So let's start adding the element value of A. And once we'll get over with array A, then we'll start adding all the elements value of B. Then as we know that to finding out a uh, median, we have to uh, sort the entire uh, sequence first. And then as we have uh, size here is 9 and then we will use uh, our formula. So here um, n is odd. That means our median will be there at 
this place right means our median is fifth element which is nothing but 15 here this is a good start but the problem here is we are creating a one new array called c uh, which is consuming extra space and the second problem is time complexity here we are doing a sort operation so any a good sorting algorithm will take n log n time complexity so for this approach time complexity will be order of n plus m log n plus m right just because in your question it is given the size of a and b is m and n so total element we have m plus n in the same way space complexity we have order of n plus m so to optimize our solution from here definitely we have to think better than n log n time complexity right that means we have to think of this stage whether we have to do a sorting or not i mean we would have done sorting if we would have had uh, both array a and b in unsorted order but here we have both array a and b in sorted order that means we have to simply merge them in such a way that the final sequence should be in sorted order and if you remember that uh, this kind of uh, logic we already have uh, used it uh, you know in merge sort right so now we will optimize the same logic over here so let's merge this arrays same as uh, what we do uh, in merge sort we'll pick one element from a and one element from b so here we will be picking six and two and we will take minimum of this two and we'll place that into our array c so two will come here and then we will pick minimum of these two elements 6 and 10 so 6 will be placed in second position after which we will pick minimum of 9 and 10 so 9 will come here like this we will keep on repeating our process and at this point of time uh, as we have uh, reached uh, till last element of a then whatever the element we are left with in uh, array b we will put all the elements one by one at the end of the c and now if you see uh, we have a sorted uh, array c and after which as we know that the size is 9 that means our median value is 15 and if you think about the time complexity so if you have observed that uh, we have scanned only once both arrays a and b so that means the time complexity would be order of n plus m right and just because we are creating a new array because of that we are still consuming space n plus m so this solution is far better than the previous one because we have optimized the time complexity over here and now to optimize further uh, this time we will think about space complexity do we actually need this auxiliary space so let's see one situation here where a is 1 2 3 4 and b is having element 5 6 7 8 and let's assume if this is a, our uh, left subsequence and this is our right subsequence and if you calculate the last element of left subsequence which is 4 is actually lesser than the first element of the right subsequence right so once you'll get to know about this condition we will immediately get to know that the elements of right subsequence is greater than all the elements of the left subsequence now think that do we actually need uh, extra space to figure out a uh, median here no right just because in this case our median would be 4 plus 5 by 2 which is 4.5 so from uh, this observation uh, we can clearly see that we have to always look into the last element of the left subarray and the first element of the right subarray right so this was our corner case now let's see um, a standard case so let's suppose uh, if we have our subarrays like this where a1 to a8 is a part of array a and b1 to b10 is a part of our array b and remember this uh, this array is already sorted here total numbers of uh, element we have 18 that means each sub array will have nine elements and as you can see that uh, we already have uh, divided our uh, left and right sub array 
the red element is a part of the left subarray and the green element is a part of the right subarray so in step 1 the first thing first we have to do is we have to calculate the last element of the left subarray right so in the left subarray if you see then then the last element will be the maximum of a4 and a, uh, b5 because again uh, this is starting from a2 a4 is the sorted and b1 to b5 is all, also sorted so if you'll merge that using a uh, merge technique right uh, so in that case the last element of this will be the maximum of a4 or b5 okay that is pretty much clear and now in the second step we have to figure out first element of the right subarray which will be the minimum of a5 and b6 again with the same merge logic and now in third step we need to check this condition if this condition is true and now we can find a median with using a standard uh, a formula if total size is uh, even then we have to use the uh, max of a4 b5 plus mean of a5 b6 divided by 2 if the size is odd then we have to return max of a4 b5 why we are returning here max of a4 b5 because in that case the size of the left subarray will be one more than the size of the right subarray okay so if the total size is 9 then we will have five elements in the left subarray and we'll have a four elements in the right subarray okay so that is pretty much obvious that the last element of the left subarray will be the middle element of the entire array right and if the condition is not satisfied then in that case uh, we have to move our max of a4 b5 uh, towards right side so let's assume if a4 is a, a maximum in this a4 and b5 so you can see that now a4 will be the part of the right subarray and just because we have to maintain the equal size so because of that the b6 which was the part of the right subarray now that will be the part of the left subarray okay then again we will repeat our step one process means the last element of the left subarray will be uh, maximum of a3 and b6 similarly the first element of the right subarray will be the minimum of a4 and b7 and now let's see uh, some other scenario as well so if our uh, array and b will have these elements so in this case you can see that we have a left subarray containing elements uh, from uh, both array a and b but in the right subarray uh, we have only elements from array b so in this case uh, everything will be the same the only difference is you know while calculating the first element of the right subarray then we have to return b5 in the same way we can encounter such kind of scenario as well where the left subarray will have all the elements from array a and the right subarray will have uh, elements from both array a and b so in this case uh, in step 1 we have to return a7 and now for better understanding let's understand uh, this process with an example let's assume if our input array a is this and array b is having these elements so as you can see that the length of array a is 10 and length of array b is 6 which means uh, our left subarray and right subarray size will be 8 so at the beginning I am dividing our subarrays like this. So, what are the elements is towards left side of this boundary is a part of left subarray, and the elements which is right side of this boundary line is a part of right subarray. And now let's start our process here. So, in step one, we will be calculating max of 79 and 9, which will return 79. And second step we will be calculating min of 81 and 15 which will return 15 now we will check uh, it is lesser than so it is not uh, 79 is greater than 15 uh, that means this 79 uh, should be part of the right subarray so let's do that so we have uh, reduced one element from a and we have added one element from b right and now again we will calculate uh, step 1 we have to calculate max of 72 15 this will return 72 and the and from the right side we have to calculate min of 79 and 39 which will 
return 39. So again, 72 is greater than 39. Uh, so we cannot find a median at this point of time. Um, that means we have to shift 72 towards right side. And again, we'll calculate max of 69 and 39, which will return 69. And from right side, we'll calculate min of 72 and 42, which will return 42. So here also the condition is not getting satisfied. That means again, we have to shift our boundary towards left side. And now let's calculate again, max of 10 and 42. This will return 42. And from right side, again, min of 69 and 49. So this will return 49. So here the condition is getting uh, satisfied here. 42 is lesser than 49. That means at this point of time, uh, we have divided our arrays in two groups. Every group will have the same size and uh, the element value of the right sub array will be greater than the element of element value of the left sub array. That means now we can find a median over here. So we'll apply the formula here. The total size is even. That means our median will be average of 42 plus 49 by 2. And now if you think about space complexity over here. So as you can see that we have not used any extra memory. So space complexity here is constant. And now let's analyze our time complexity here. So what we have been doing here, uh, starting from the beginning, uh, is that uh, we are uh, looking for a number which can uh, satisfy our condition, right? So that's why, you know, we started from here, 79. But this pair was not getting satisfied. So we jumped to 72 and then we jumped to 69. And here also the condition was not satisfied. So we jumped to 10. So here you can clearly see that uh, we are moving towards left uh, linearly, right? And this moves we can do how many times? We can do this many times. Let's say if size of B is M, then we can move like this one by one till M times. That means time complexity of this is order of min of M comma N. And now the question is, uh, can we optimize our performance better than this? So the answer is yes. Uh, we can do that. Why? Just because uh, here we have to notice one thing that we are searching an element on sorted array. And as we know that most efficient way to search any element on sorted array is through binary search. So instead of doing a linear search over here, now we will be finding our element through binary search. So let's do that. So this was our initial uh, situation where uh, our condition was not satisfied. So now uh, instead of moving uh, linearly towards left side, now what we'll do, we will be jumping middle element of this subarray. Okay, so middle of this subarray is 10. So let's uh, move our boundary from 79 to 10. And then uh, we need to calculate max of 10 and 42, which will return 42. And we need to calculate min of 69 and 49 so this will return 49 and now you can see that our condition is getting satisfied over here uh, then we need to stop our operation at this point of time and if you think of time complexity over here so it will be order of o log of min of m comma n and this is our optimal performance of this problem I hope that you like this video and if you do so, so please share this with your friends who is especially preparing for the interview and through comments, please let us know which uh, kind of questions you want us to cover in our next video. Thanks again for watching this video 